Yeah, I'm looking for his friends eternal. Uh, Horsehead. My name is Magnet. Magnet. My name is Coldheart. What's up? I'm Ned Arb. The full crew right now. Looking for his friends eternal. Magnet. It's Horsehead. Cool. Fish Shark. Yawn. Lil Peep. JP Dream Thug. Coldheart. Dove. Tracy. There's one more though. Um, who am I missing right now? Uh, oh wait. Wicked Face, Magnet, Horsehead, Coldheart, Doves, Yawns, Fish Nark, um, Lil Tracy, Lil Peep, and Horsehead. I met Coldheart on Tumblr and uh, in like 2012. He sent me a beat called Gothboy Click and I wanted to like, start a whole crew, I guess, based around that. So that's what we did. From there, it was like a kind of online networking kind of thing. I don't know, we had like a similar aesthetic at the time and it just kind of all seemed to like work out. And we all met up early 2014 and kind of just kept piecing together the group like from there. And uh, this was like prior to Thrax House, a group that we were all a part of that came about in 2014, um, which was like a, a collective based out of Seattle. Thrax House turned into GBC by kind of just like the sound that we had, like the, the punk rock grunge, like emo sound that's not too familiar with the type of sound that I brought, like the rap sound. And me and Wicked Face, Cohart and Horsehead, we kind of just like put it in like the melting pot. You dig what I'm saying? Like, What's so. up, man? We got boy click or what? God boy click. Ooh, God boy click. Yeah, God boy click. Uh, God boy. Yeah. We talked up, man. Put the lights down. Put the lights down. I tried to come business for everybody, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't be close enough to stop me. No, no, no. You. Um, growing up, I grew up like mainly into like emo music and hardcore music and shit. And then I got into a phase where I like old school 90s hip hop, like Tribe Called Quest and like Clamps Casino, like atmospheric sounds and shit. I try to like, like that shit influences my beats a lot. And then like old emo samples and shit like that. But yeah. Listening to like rap singles, like I was listening, I would buy CD singles of like Puff Daddy and Biggie and Mace and Busta Rhymes and stuff like that. So that's how I got into rap. But Saddle Creek Records in general was big, and and I think they're a huge influence on all of GBC. So. I don't know, it's really sweet. I just want to make like a like a positive impact on the world and like leave something here for when I die so that people are influenced. It's like a really, it's like honestly the most rewarding part about doing music um, is just getting that reaction and just knowing that your music like affected someone or helped them through a situation or you know anything like that.
They've always helped me out without even me approaching Mass Gorilla. They've, they've put me on and supported me, and that means the world to me, so I can't say enough about them. I remember, like, if I would drop something, like, without, you know, hitting a blog up or whatever, Mass Gorilla would cover it, I would feel like I had to do nothing else. You know what I'm saying? I would just retweet the Mass Gorilla to go back to sleep. That's how I put it. Retweet Mass Gorilla, go back to sleep. Uh, I fuck with Mass Gorilla because they're, like, hella humble and hella genuine. And I don't know Hollywood shit, just like, you know, what's up? It's, it's been from a really early start that Mascarilla kind of has been covering, like, kind of artists that don't get attention really in mainstream places. Long story short, he used to cover artists from the East Coast that I was really into. And he had the first, like, Mac Miller interview and shit, and I used to be really into Mac and shit. And, yeah, so, like, he was the first blog I was into, literally, like, or, yeah, 2010, pretty much. So I've been fucking with them. They're on all the shit, heavy first. So shout out Mascarilla all day. Huh? I love y'all, man, so much. Wow. Beautiful.